everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you're doing really, really well today. So I'm here today with a different style of video to what I normally make. I got today's video inspiration from the wonderful Dainty Diaries. I know a lot of you guys watch her videos, as do I, and I find so much inspiration from them. So the video I wanna to make today, is kind of similar to one of hers that I've seen, and it's just a get it all done with me, but in a different way to what I usually do. This is gonna be all of the jobs, I never want to do and just needed to get done. They've been on my list for far too long. So I wrote myself a little list of all of the boring jobs. We've got things like washing the sofa, jet washing the path, <laughs> just like painting things that I just never really wanted to paint but had to do anyway. So yes, I thought I would bring you along and we would get it all done and hopefully I can inspire you guys to do the same. I just want to make a note here that this was not all filmed on the same day. I am not a superwoman <laughs> and I don't advocate for doing everything on the same day. I think just taking your time with it but giving yourself a deadline. So for example, my deadline was this week so I just kind of did bits and bobs as I could and it really helps to take the overwhelm off and now I don't have to think about them anymore which is such a great feeling. <laughs> anyway, let's get into the video. So one of the first jobs that really needed doing was the alleyway at the side of our house. It was so gross from the birds. Thank you, birds. Um, it's been two years since we moved in and we've never jet washed it. And as you can see, the algae had really built up. So we gave it a good old sweep to get rid of all the stuff from the gutters. But look how green it was. You can kind of see a before and after there. Um, we started doing it the other day and then we gave up because it was taking so long. But we gave it another go and I just absolutely love pressure washing how oh it's just so nice to watch i find it so so pleasing <laughs> I know in one of my last videos where I power washed, loads of you were asking where I got it from, so I'll leave a link below. Um, it's quite contagious, so I'm warning you, if you start this, you'll never be able to stop. It's so addictive. <laughs> so here's a before and then after. Oh, it looks so much better and so much less slippy too. It definitely needed doing. The next job on the list was this radiator of mine. Ah, the bane of my existence. I hate this radiator and the dust builds up really, really bad in the bathroom in general. And it was in desperate need of a good old shine up. Um, so I just used this as a flora spray. It's just a good multi-purpose one. I think if I had a vinegar spray, I would probably have used that instead. But this did the job. It just needed to get off the soap scum and any dust and dirt that had collected over time. Look how gross that is. Oh, I'm horrified at myself. Um, there are some really embarrassing embarrassing gross bits in this video but I'm putting my entire life out there including my dusty radiators. The reason I hate this job so much is it takes so long because there are so many little bars to do but the outcome was really really good and now it's done at least for another day because I'm sure that pesky dust will be back <laughs> before I know it. Okay, so I got gate crashed a little bit by the cats in this bit, but I'm trying to show you our horrendous paintwork in the bathroom. We used the complete wrong paint and the dust is awful. It collects up so bad and it's really, really hard to get it off. And as well, as you can see on the floor there, whoever put the boards down on the floor got glue all over the floor and it's just a nightmare. So they were in need of a good old paint um, to try and make it look a little bit better and a little more fresh. Because every time I go in there, it winds me up so so bad so I'm using some wood paint it's an eggshell version and to be fair I am pretty happy with it so I definitely recommend it I set to work here and quickly realized I'd forgot to clean my brush and I'm not used to non water soluble paints and so this was quite a surprise so I had to give it a clean with some white spirit and then we were back in business I just I love painting I really enjoyed doing this and um, it was so therapeutic and relaxing but it's one of those jobs I've been putting off for so long and now I'm just so glad it's done every time I go in there I think it looks so much better this was actually one of the first times I've ever not used masking tape to go over the corners and I was really happy with the paintbrushes that I used. Thank you. 
I started getting carried away obviously and when you start painting you start painting everything so I did the outside of the door then I realized how gross and grubby the actual door was because we painted that in the same paint as the other <laughs> bits in the house as well and so everything just has fingerprints on um, collects dust really badly and it's just really really impossible to clean whenever you clean it the paint comes off on the towel that you're using so I gave the doors a paint too why not let's get everyone involved and they look so much better and now I'm gonna have to do the rest of the house but we'll save that for another week because I'm all painted out now um, I'm just slowly getting through all of the bits in the house that need doing but ah oh, so much more fresh so much better and yeah just makes me happy every time I go in there now and I'm not going to be embarrassed whenever anybody uses our bathroom. <laughs> So now the door is painted, I left it a few days and I thought I would put these really nice coat hooks on the back of the door. As you know, I don't like my towel rail, it really bugs me and once the towels are dry, we don't have an airing cupboard or anywhere to really store towels. So we decided to get some hooks for the back of the bathroom door to hold our towels on when we're not using them. And I really liked these because they had kind of like an antique brass look. Um, I can leave a link down below if you guys are interested in them. But they went up really quick and really easy and now our towels can just be there and it's not a massive pain in the bum anymore. <laughs> Next up, I wanted to do the sofa. Needed to be done for a long, long time. The last time I did it was August last year. There are a lot of stains. We eat our tea shamelessly on this sofa. There are so many crumbs, so many cat hairs, just so much grossness that collects through normal life. So I thought I would give it a spruce up. This sofa is the Grand Lid from Ikea. I got it specifically because you can replace the covers and you can also machine wash them, which is really important to me, especially because I've got pets. So I set to work getting all of the cushion covers off, um, which was a task in itself, let me tell you, but we got there in the end. The cats were really intrigued by what the heck I was doing. They're really obsessed with anywhere they've never been before. So as you can tell, Rory was really excited about the fact he could now get underneath the sofa cushions. Um, it was super dusty and you always find so much random stuff. I found a paintbrush, a pen, a bobble, a nail file, some string, oh my gosh. So much random stuff, but better it's out there than stuck under my sofa for the rest of its life. <laughs> Or he's having a good nosy there, bless him. Look at all the dust, oh my god, it's so embarrassing. Oh well. <laughs> So here I am shamelessly showing you our grubby sofa. I've got no secrets anymore, I guess. <laughs> so I'm using my Dyson. I just put this attachment on. It worked really well at just getting into the corners and getting rid of all of the grime and grossness. After I used this attachment, I used the normal Hoover as well just to go over it and get rid of it all so it was all fresh and clean. I don't know why, but I find it so satisfying watching people do things like hoovering and power washing, and I hope you guys do too, because <laughs> this is that kind of video. Once I'd finally got all of the cushion covers off, I popped everything back on the sofa because yeah, I just wanted to be able to sit on it and it looks so weird. I'm glad my sofa's not this yellow colour. <laughs> and then I just went and popped them all into the washing machine and I'm just showing you here my new favourite combination for spring. It smells so lovely. I absolutely adore the smell. I think it's peony and raspberry. So, so nice. So yeah, I just popped those all into the washing machine and then I was going to hang them out to dry and then pop them all back on later on once they were dry.
So as you can see, the difference is insane. It looks so much nicer. You might not be able to tell really on camera, but it made such a difference giving it a good old wash. And not only that, it's now clean, it smells nice, the house smells nice. Um, and it's one of those jobs that just needs doing every now and then. And I'm glad that I can take the covers off to wash them. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know if you did and let me know if you want me to make more videos like this because I'd be more than happy to do so. I really do hope it inspired you today to think about your own life and any jobs that you are just letting slide again and again and again. They're the kind of jobs that go on the to-do list and then they kind of come off the to-do list or you never put them on in the first place because you think there's no way I'm gonna get that done this week. <laughs> They're the kind of jobs that are gonna like grind away inside and just make you feel more overwhelmed than you need to. So take a word from me, get it done. <laughs> it feels so much better after, um, for example, my sofa. I can't even, I think it was last summer the last time I cleaned that thing and it just needed doing. Um, it makes such a difference to how you feel, how your home feels, and it's so good to look after yourself and all of your belongings as well. But thank you all so, so much for watching this video. I really hope you all enjoyed it. If you wanna see more videos from me, be sure to subscribe, press the notification bell, and I'll leave some playlists down below with other videos that I think you might like but that's it from me today so have a wonderful day wherever you are in the world and I'll see you all again in my next video.